maintained a, a good second half. Uh, first half, they just made a lot of shots off second chance opportunities. Uh, I was pleased with our offense in the first half for the most part. Uh, you know, it's going to be a low scoring game uh, against Texas Tech. Uh, but uh, I know we came out and played really well second half. Very proud of Michael Cobbins. I thought Michael Cobbins really gave us energy, good leadership, uh, did a lot of good things for us. I'm really proud of Michael Cobbins in the game he had. And, He's been playing well in practice the last few days. Had two of his better practices he's had in a long time. So really, really happy with Michael Cobbins. Just thought he was terrific. You know, he's such a difference maker on our team when he plays like that. Uh, it does that does so much for us. And uh, um, I thought Newberry played well. Yeah, Anthony mentioned that that was kind of you know, what you do down there at halftime is what you're really talking about. Well, it wasn't hard to figure out. I mean, real quick, uh, half their points came off second opportunities. Their points came from one guy, uh, and most of his came off second shots and them kicking it out for threes. You know, the one thing you don't want to do is give anybody wide open shots. And we gave them wide open shots because of the second shots. They were open, and uh, we did a much better job the second half of getting the stops um, that we got allowed us to get out and transition the second half. And uh, I thought that was big for us. You mentioned their pace. How, what's the challenges of kind of getting? It's a challenge, but we play like that. We play like that sometimes. So I'm, not, you know, um, it, it, it's not that big a deal for us. You know, so we, we 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 can play that way if we need to. We've done it before. Uh, we've done it intentionally before. So uh, that part wasn't big. It, but it it, you know, we know they're going to take the shot clock down. You know, we had so many clips we showed our guys where they were taking shots under five seconds to go on the clock. And, Puts a lot of pressure on your defense because if they get a second shot now, one thing they did, they got second shots and kicked it out and made threes, but a lot of times they'll make you guard for another 25, 30 seconds. So, uh, but that, that was a big uh, big emphasis for us the last couple of days is just make sure our guys understand how disciplined they have to be on defense and play through the whole possession and you know, keep getting stronger through the possession. I thought we did that second half. We got stronger as the possession went along, uh, whereas when a shot went up, First half, we kind of your shoulders kind of slumped. You thought it was the end, and then come up with it. LB goes out early in the first half with a couple of fouls and sets the rest of the half. But were you concerned how he would respond coming out in mm -hmm. the second half? Yeah, it's a good question. Yeah, it's tough. You don't play a lot of minutes um, for anybody, and for him, it's tough. You, you, as somebody told the coaches, that actually came out, started warming up. We all stayed on it. Get loose, get loose, get going, get going, and. Um, a little bit to get get his, get his blood flowing a little bit. Uh, but it gave us a good second half, but it, that's always a concern. Concern for anybody that plays as many minutes as he normally plays and then you only get six. How are you going to be, are you still going to be in it mentally as well as physically? And uh, that's a good question, yeah. That's what people are concerned. We were, we were keeping that eye on him, very much an eye on him. If he wasn't ready to go, we were going to get somebody else in there. You know, when, it, you know, it's hard to do anyway. It's hard to do.